Astoria Knoxville families call for change on border security continuing today in Washington. The Corcoran family's son Pierce was killed in a wreck last month. Prosecutors say the driver blamed in this crash, Franco Francisco Eduardo, is in our country illegally. Yesterday, the Corcorans took part in a news conference on the Capitol steps with a group supporting President Donald Trump's effort to build a wall along the southern border. Well, today the family met with Senator Marsha Blackburn, also with Vice President Mike Pence and Presidential Advisor Kellyanne Conway. Now, speaking with our Washington, D.C. Bureau, the Corcorans say their message to leaders is to put their political differences aside and build that wall. Pierce's father, D.J. Corcoran, a Knoxville Fire Department captain and public information officer, saying today his family is not opposed to people coming into our country legally, and they're not angry with the driver blamed in the crash. They're angry with the politics that allows illegal immigration to persist. There's people that are staying in our country and at the hands of business owners that are employing them. They know they're illegal, but they continue to keep them here, and they're exploiting them. They're exploiting their talents. They're exploiting them. They're not paying them their wages. It's cheap labor, and it's not fair for either side, and it's not safe. And it forces those people to stay in the shadows, in the background, and not do the things that our citizens are required to do by getting a driver's license, being insured. They just need to stop that flow of people. Uh, it's just like a, I equate it to like a dam. If you've got a leak in a dam, you've got to block that leak before you ever mop up the problems that it's, that it's causing. Senator Marsha Blackburn saying in a statement that the Corcoran family deserves our most heartfelt condolences and a solemn commitment to secure the border. As for that driver we mentioned, Franco Francisco Eduardo, he is charged with criminally negligent homicide. A judge last week revoked his bond, meaning he will stay in Knox County to face trial rather than be handed back over to Immigration and Customs Enforcement. Francisco Eduardo has a preliminary hearing. It is set for tomorrow in Knox County Court. We will bring you the latest from courtroom.